versus Najee. That game ended in a draw. Talia versus Ru Yang also mm -hmm. drawn. So results and back to Christian with a guest. Thank you, Yasser. We are with Hans Niemann after a, an incredible victory with the black pieces against a fellow junior. Christopher Yu, Hans, first of all, let's address the elephant in the room. You've been under a lot of pressure. Tell us a bit about that. Well, um, I think that this game is a, is a message uh, to everyone. And, uh, you know, this entire thing started with me saying chess speaks for itself. And uh, I think that this game spoke for itself and uh, showed uh, the chess player that I am. And uh, it also showed that um, I'm not going to back down and I'm going to play my best chess here, uh, regardless uh, of the pressure that I'm under. And that's all I have to say about this game. And, uh, you know, chess speaks for itself. You know, that's all I can say. Let's discuss the I'm game sorry, a little a, bit. That's it. But, uh, you huh? know, you can leave it to interpretation. But thank you. That is that's it, all yes. you want to that's say That's all I like today. to say, yes. Because okay, it was Hans. such a beautiful game, I don't even need to describe it. Thank you. What? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I actually had one question, if we're still in studio. I guess yeah. not. <laughs> no, Hans has disappeared. But I wanted to ask about the knight takes d5 moment. I, I don't think he wanted to uh, speak about answer, the game. Answer uh, the knight takes d5 He moment. came into the studio and he said, we're not going to analyze the game. I just want to say something. And that was it. That okay. Was it. it was a message for the world, and he spoke with his moves today. He spoke yes. with his moves today. We felt that Christopher, and I have the position in front of my... Uh